Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that. Do you know what it is, man? Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Shout out to my man Showtime SP. The nobody that knows bodies. I know you're like, what's going on? What's the news? What's the word? We ain't seen you. I've been a little busy. I'm not gonna lie, man. I've been busy, man, getting some properties off. Uh, had a couple rentals, sold some. So it's been busy, man. Showtime SP just got a new gig. You know, um, he'll be back real soon. We're gonna do a bar for bar breakdown on one of the big battles that y'all been wanting us to do. Tay Rock versus Danny Myers. The joint finally, finally comes out on the URL app after like a whole month full of Sundays. Uh, but it's neither here nor there. Uh, I do feel like Danny won. I felt like he won when it happened, but uh, we'll do the, we'll do the bar for bar. You know, there's some there's some gems in there. Um, I've seen a lot of things going on. Hollow to Don, Hollow, Hollow, Hello, Hollow. It's sad to see you made it. It's just too bad he won't make it. Got me sniffing like I stick a slide. Let me get a grip then. But we're gonna probably pressure all night to keep applying. Hollow to Don is now calling out a couple names. Says he's interested. In battling Ill Will and Geechee Gotti, salute to Let's Talk Battle Rap for putting out that uh, graphic. Uh, I will say this, and that's the reason why I started with this. I've always respected Hollow to Don's handle from a business perspective, from a battling perspective, and from a legendary, like from his legendary perspective, Hollow to Don will always be considered one of the greats to ever like battle at all. And to see that he's now actually calling out names to battle, I think it's dope. You got Gichi Gotti with everything that he's accomplishing. You know, every like you could talk about Gichi Gotti all week long and what he's been able to accomplish in his battle rap career. I'm sure he's taking hollow. Because at this point, with Gichi Gotti, it's like, who's left? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's only the top, 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 that upper echelon. The Mooks, the Hitmans, you know what I'm saying? The Hollow, the Dons. Like, that's all that's left. Iron Solomon, like them type of big, big, bigger names, because he done battled and he didn't clear out all of the bottom shit, the bottom floor. Like he didn't clean the bottom floor up. There's really nobody left. I mean, you could probably like, you know, build a bear. They may build a bear, you know what I'm saying? Where they just take said battle rapper, put him in front of a couple names, build him up, and maybe try to get him a Geechee. You know, that could possibly work. I see Easy versus Geechee happening. Geechee, Easy obviously is not no builder rapper. Like he's earned his spot. He's on the new Fresh Prince of Bel Air that's about to come out. He's doing phenomenal with himself. Him and Geechee that had a couple, you know, little little darts back and forth. So I could see that potentially happening. But it's good to see Hollow because Hollow like is one of those type of people that he's almost an enigma at times where. He doesn't really, he's not a real vocal person on social media, but when he speaks, his presence is felt. Like, he can send out a tweet, or he can say something. Like, last year, when he caused all of those ruffles, when he was talking about he got paid 25000 to not battle. Like, that type, like, he has a phenomenal impact on the game when he says something. But he normally doesn't call out people. And anybody that he calls out, he can get. You know what I'm saying? When he wanted shine, he got shine. He wanted nitty, he got nitty. And... In those battles, like him and Nitty, I, when you watch it, kind of feel like Hollow might have got that one. Him versus Shine, he definitely got that one. He might have won every single round in that battle. And it put Shine in a position as to where he had to come back. Like he came back versus Easy. Even though I feel like Easy still got the battle pretty clearly, he had a better, he looked better. He, he made the, he had to jump back in his bag, basically, because. Shine wasn't going out properly. Like his 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 run was looking really it was looking kind of spooky. And to see him jump back in that bag was was definitely a good look for Shine. Um so now you got Hollow. Uh I like Hollow versus Geechee, but I like Hollow versus Ill Will more because both are phenomenal freestylers, dope rebuttals. Uh they had like little Little, little friction, you know, they've talked about, I've seen Ill Will talk about Hollow. He might have even called him out a battle or two back in the days too, but uh, I think Ill Will is one of the dopest. Like, I've always felt that way. I don't feel like Ill Will, on Rare Breed, 
I feel like Ill Will should get Hitman on Rare Breed. Period. He's done enough. He's battled everybody over there. He body Jag, battled A Ward, uh, battled mad people over there, battled Cal. He's been like, when, when Rare Breed was looking or searching or trying to find a star to like put the league behind and to really like wave the flag, Ill Will was really like the one. He was on all those cards. He was battling all those MCs. And he deserves Hitman. If anybody deserves Hitman at this point on Rare Breed, it is Ill Will. That Midwest thing, that whole, you know, who's the king of the Midwest, that needs to run through. That like he needs to get those looks. But um him versus Hollow, I like it. I don't know if it would go down on Ultimate Rap League because you know, they be doing that shit where if you battle over here, you can't battle over there. A the, the, lot of the MCs don't be caring. They're like, nigga, I battle on this card this month. Three months later, I battle on that card. We don't, they're not doing the whole, you got to pick a side and stick here. Because if you pick a side and then you're not getting booked, now, you know what I mean? You're looking kind of crazy. So, Ill Will has been doing his own thing. And, and for a while, I've always said this about Ill Will. He's another person. He's not really a social person. He don't really do radio. He don't really do tweet. Don't do Twitter. He don't really be on Instagram like that. So you really only see him battle, and then the next time he battles, and then the next time he battles, and then the next. There's nothing wrong with that, but I'm just saying, in order to have a sustainable, viable product that's being pushed, like if you look at Geechee, he's got uh, no studio in. He's got his music. He's got the riot that he's involved with. He's got so many things that when he's not battling, he's got something going on. When you disappear and we don't hear and no one hears from you for four or five months, six months, it's kind of like an out of sight, out of mind thing. You know what I mean? So I would like to see Ill Will get those battles, but then he doesn't really promote either. He's not a promoter. He's not much of a promoter. He ain't going to promote. Like So it's kind of like you at odds end with it. But... When it comes to talent, like he's one of the most lethal, deadly talents in the game, which is crazy. To be one of the most talented, but you don't really promote, you don't really like put yourself out there. You know, you don't have a clothing, you don't, you don't do music. I don't think he do music. If you do, it doesn't ring a bell with me. I know Mac Myron do music. I don't really think Ill will do music. I don't really think he got no music videos, no real podcast. So it's kind of hard to keep up with him. Not saying that it's impossible, not taking anything away from his lyrical ability. It's just the fact that when you're not seen or heard or nobody's bringing you up, it, it kind of takes away from the things that you got going on. But when it comes to that battle, when it comes to the battles and him standing in front of an MC, he could break down anybody. Like, let's not do that. I'm still your folks. Any ill will with ill, then you will get smoked. Like, I'm still the goat. Like, he... Come on now. And I think that if he was to be more active and be more out there, you know what I'm saying? Everybody doesn't have Geechee's personality or other battle rappers who have been more successful on the business side of things like a surf who's literally turned his career around in the last six months. Everybody don't have that. We're not asking. I don't think people, I think people get it confused and think we're asking people to be that. No, we're, what we're asking for is to see or hear from you more than three times a year or four times a year. Maybe it may be too much for people. I remember when I was saying that about Rum Nitty not too long ago, people were saying, oh, but Rum Nitty's raising four kids. You know, he don't got time to boot. I get it. I'm not saying that that's not a, that's not a good thing. Listen, be a parent. That's a great thing. But, you know, when, when, when people start talking about who should battle who and this, that, and third, if nobody sees or hears from you, sometimes people may forget. Not Rum Nitty, because, you know, that's Rum Nitty. Ain't going to forget him. But uh, we want to see it. Hollow to Don, I would like to see you versus Geechee and Ill Will this year. We'll just do it like that. I'm not tripping off either or. You could get both. Can you get by both is the question. That is the question. It's not about getting them. It's about clearing them. Can you clear Hollow? Can you clear Geechee? And can you clear Ill Will? And you got you got to go get revenge for your loaded Hollow's partner. The energy soul, you got to go get revenge because Lux battled Geechee and you go find that man. Don't, you go find that man because I know there's people out there, there's a few people out there that's like, oh, Lux won versus, no he didn't. I'm sorry. I'm a huge fan of Loaded Lux, of his, what he's able to do lyrically, how he's been able to transcend the game and things like that, but he didn't win. Like, come on now. 
We're not doing that. He lost. And he lost pretty clearly, too. So when you guys sit there, oh, he won. No, 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 no. Oh, man. But all in all, I definitely like both matchups. Um, I think that they would actually be dope. And to see Hollow up being the one to advocate and call out these MCs and try to get them looks is even better. But uh, you already know what it is, man. Salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. Like I said, I'll be back with my man Showtime SP. We'll be putting out some more of what you're waiting for. And it is what it is. Salute to every single one of y'all. Gang, gang.